Yeah, I mean, that's the key, right? As much as Johnny Depp is saying, you know, I wasn't named, I mean, as much as Amber Heard is saying, look, Johnny Depp wasn't named in the article, wasn't right about him, everybody involved in drafting that knew it was about him, and there was even an effort maybe to include more information, but there was a concern that it might violate the NDA between Depp and Heard. Now, I want to bring on Ann Jeanette, because Ann Jeanette, we were about to go live today, we're about to start another day, and we get this mm -hmm. bombshell from Amber Heard's side that she has switched up her PR team? Can you walk us through what's going on? That's right, Jesse. So Precision Strategies had been representing Amber Heard since the beginning of this trial. Um, and we would receive uh, things from them periodically. Um, not, not a ton, but we would receive things maybe daily from them. Um, and she fired them. She fired the company last Thursday, and she's now using Shane Communications. And uh, she's brought that team on. And it's important to note that Shane Communications has gone up against Johnny Depp in a lawsuit before. Uh, back in 2017, Johnny Depp sued his business managers, claiming uh, that they had in, engaged in fraud and they had stolen money from him and things like that. And so just uh, as this whole lawsuit was getting ready to go to trial, uh, it was settled. And a source told me that Johnny Depp actually benefited from that settlement. But uh, Shane Communications had been representing his former business managers and had put uh, lots of stories out there about Johnny Depp, including one in the New York Post that claimed that he had to seek therapy for a spending disorder. Uh, I don't think we've heard that before, but obviously on cross-examination in this case, uh, we heard that Johnny Depp has spent a lot of money. And at one point in time, his, uh, his expenses were basically exceeding the amount of money he had or his assets. So uh, it was really right. interesting when we heard about that last night. Uh, we were kind of looking to get more information about it. And um, it'll be interesting to see how this approach from her team shifts uh, after this big shakeup in her PR team. Obviously, she was not happy uh, with the headlines that have been coming out of this trial. Uh, she has not received a lot of positive publicity, and she's preparing to testify this week. Uh, we think she'll be on the stand either Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, and Karen, I mean, we can't be surprised by this in the sense that if you speak to the majority of the people or the people that I've spoken to while waiting online, a lot of them are Johnny Depp supporters. In fact, I posted a video early today of a guy dressed as Jack Sparrow running across the yard, but not even that on social media. It has mostly been highly negative against Amber Heard. The question that I have is, as Anjan had said, she's about to take the stand. Her case is about to start. Is this a wise move to switch up your PR team in the middle of a trial and right before you're about to testify and start your case? Well, it seems like it's not a good move, but obviously there's some feeling of desperation on her part. And the thing is, it's it's the attorneys that are representing her that, that the public sees. So I don't know if it's a misplaced um, judgment on her part. She could have had her team present her in a much better way in terms of their cross-examination of Johnny's witnesses and how they're presenting their case and how they come across, meaning their case in what we hear on the depositions. So we hear their questioning, we hear how they're handling the case. And I think that she could have gotten a better a, a team of representing her, be, better attorneys or better presentation. So maybe that's what the uh, public is looking at. That's all they have to see. And I haven't really seen a lot of publicity out about her. So I think it might be misdirected. She might need to focus on their, that team and getting them up to speed and representing her the best way they can when she testifies. And look, and Jeanette, it's all been Johnny Depp's word, right? It's all been Johnny Depp's mm -hmm. narrative, his witnesses, and clearly that's maybe one of the reasons we're not surprised that there's been so much negative attention for Amber Heard. But now that we, she is going to start her case, do we have any sense about what we are going to hear? Obviously, we're going to hear Amber Heard testify, but with the news of Elon Musk and James Franco no longer testifying, and they were on her witness list, do we have any sense of who else she's going to call and what she's going to present? You know, we know, that obviously, that she will testify. And we think that we will also hear um, from some experts, maybe in domestic violence and things like that. Uh, so she's got a long list of witnesses uh, that she could call. And we all know that just because somebody is on a witness list, that doesn't necessarily mean uh, that they will be called to testify. So uh, we're going to have to wait and see what her team decides to put out there. Um, as far as changing PR teams goes, you know, I spoke with a veteran public relations um, you know, kind of, you know, insider in that kind of realm and in that business. And he told me last night that this, you know, shaking things up in the middle of a case like this is just 
really probably shocking and not not wise. Uh, this person believes that, you know, of course you're going to get some bad headlines. We're in Johnny Depp's case. He's the plaintiff. And of course, he's putting all this stuff out there in court. But then you just have to kind of weather that storm. And then uh, when your side is ready to go, you present your evidence. So uh, this came as a bit of a surprise to people in the public relations industry. It also makes you wonder, is this exactly what Johnny Depp wanted? Remember, he's the one who filed this lawsuit. He's the one who thought he would get good press. He's the one who wanted to change the narrative about what's been painted as in his eyes. So maybe he must be loving this. I'm imagining, you know, the idea of Amber Heard now on the defensive. But we're just mm -hmm. speculating here. But Anjanette Levy, thank you so much for the great report as to this big shakeup over the weekend. Can't wait to talk to you later on in the program about the latest in the case. Karen, stay on by. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk all about what has been happening and what we can expect in the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard defamation trial. We'll be back.